enemies. Even if we don't do peace square, can't we be brothers? Paul Okoye of Peter of Peace Square done on camera concert ring light can do one emotional video telling the world say eh, me and my brother we are not together again no. Me gonna ask my brother say is it crime to still be a brother even if we no do business again? I need that peace more than you people. But still on the year see matter. So I for him to get, for the picture to look good, he needs to attach me with Jude. So that's why, the more he tries to attach me with Jude, and after the investigation, they'll tell him, Paul is innocent. You attach again, they'll tell him, Paul is innocent. Now they made him, when I say Paul is a witness. Now let me tell you why I say this is a problem to me now, because I thought these are my two, my brothers. I don't even know where to. Go. I'm going to explain 40% whatever letters, guys. So now, if I'm the witness, now, Jude has never denied in the EFCC that, yes, because of Peter not giving me, the ones Paul has given to me, I gave Paul back. So now I'll start keeping this. And then now I'm hearing Jude open a secret account. Biko. Which one is secret account? Jude has been bearing North Side. First of all, there is first of all there was North Side music when Jude was doing movies. Later, North Side Lim, um, Limited, which was down the Peace Square Management this thing. Now North Side Music, which was the one he signed his own artist. Just like we have a uh, root boy record. Poto poto, omo hey, no be small matter. So we could hear from the elder brothers. Meanwhile, P two be so now don't visit them one by each. And uh, be like say that visit the P two be do. He be like say you no know, yield anything between these two brothers. Now waiting the soap. Make we hear from their elder brother. Okay, sorry guys. Uh, bad network. So I was, I was about to conclude before uh, the network went off. So if you can, guys, if you guys can give me like uh, two, three minutes, so some people can still come back before I uh, make my last submission. All right, people. Um, I don't know what you guys. Uh, I don't know what I've uh, left behind. I don't know what uh, I'm supposed to say. That I have not said. Like I said earlier, uh, the EFCC case is still under investigation. And uh, whenever they finish, I promise you guys, I'm going to bring the updates of the final uh, investigation. And um, like I said, uh, I might be like kind of repeating myself again. My wife has nothing to do with this. It's just royalties that Peter was receiving and not sharing anymore. Paul was receiving, not sharing anymore. That I was receiving and was sharing with them, as we speak. That I got four years ago. That is what they are taking me to UFC for. Because according to Peter, I am not peace square. That's just the basis of the truth. The basic of the whole matter. I am not peace square. The, mo the money I had with me is peace square's money. Because I am not P square, I'm just the manager that they put on salary. If this question is still going on, whatever the outcome comes, I'll give them the evidence to prove that I'm not just P square, I am equal as P square as they are. But in the eyes of the public, to two of them are P square. I don't have any problem with that. But on documentation, I am equal as them as P square. Even more, but I am not charging that. I'm just being equal with them as P square. So that is about the EFCC case and about my wife's own case. Like I said, please, uh, easy with the comment section, leave her out of it. I understand what you guys are, are feeling about Peter's story. No worries. I, if, if I, if, I don't want to cross that line with him. Peter has crossed a very serious line, taking this matter to EFCC. But I'm telling you honestly, if I cross that line with him, it's going to be uh, two people uh, uh, it's like 
a pig that's playing in the mud and you're putting on white and you decide to go and join the pig in the mud it's not going to look good on me to cross that line like i'm going to sit with that bigger person that bigger brother to look at it with a different perspective but first of all i need to go and defend myself so my defending myself now means that i have to go and put in a petition so that they can also be investigated and that money that i am also receiving that is in my account that he was petitioning about, they also see the same money in their own account. That's why I put in the petition too. Aside that, I don't have any qualms with Peter, I don't have any qualms with Paul, I don't have any qualms with anybody. It's been eight years, why can't they just let me be? Why can't they just let me be? Every time Jude is siding with Paul, Paul is siding with Jude. Paul, like I repeat, Paul stood with Peter to get me removed from Peace Square. Is that one siding? Paul signed, which I told you are going to release very soon on Monday. Paul signed to whom he may consign. Everybody that is holding Peace Square catalog, if it's Peter and Paul's catalog, nobody else is in charge of the catalog. Nobody else has a right, right to be in the catalog. Peter signed it, Paul signed it, and they send it out to the people. The people send it to me. I have it with me. Is that one siding with me? That people should stop that with this person. I'm not siding with anybody. Nobody siding with me. I'm just siding with the truth. And that has always been the fact. So if I'm not if I've not been with you for eight years, don't have any transaction with you for eight years, what am I still doing in your problems? If I've not done anything with you for eight years. Please, what am I still doing with your problems? I don't come to you wherever you're doing anything. I don't get involved in anything you're doing whatsoever. What am I still doing with any problem you encounter in your life? After eight years, I'm still in your problems. Somebody should please help me explain that. You guys are so emotional and... Uh, um, you guys are so emotional and... Uh, 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 sentimental. Go and fix your brother. Go and fix your brother. I have told you right now. I have tried everything humanly possible. There's nothing less I can do but to leave. And it's been eight years. Please and please let me have my peace. Thank you all. Like I said, when the investigation is over, I'm going to update you guys. And that will be it for now. Please let us have our peace. Thank you. When he found out that all these allegations are not holding anything because the, what he told them that me being a bystander is not what was established. It was established that I was part and parcel of Peace Square on papers and everything. So he now went now back to 2009, uh, 2008, 2009 when we came to Lagos, the first account we ever opened for me to explain every transaction that's ever happened in our account for over almost 19, 20 years. I can't even remember the money I spent last week. And someone is asking me to account for money spent 19 years ago. What it was for. Every money that has my name on it in the account must be explained. I was like, okay, no problem. Let me get it. Let me see what I can be able to do with that. I was able to, by his grace, have, if not all of them, most of the accounts that he was pointing at. Most especially, there's these three that he was mentioning. I think that was how he was trying to get Paul involved in the whole thing. Saying that uh, me and Paul were sharing monies without sh giving him his own share. He now pointed out where there was an account where Paul had $100,000 and there is none for him. And that place where Paul had $150,000, there was none for him and one of whatever. Then I was like, okay, let me go and look at it and find out what, because it's been like, that was 2013 and 2014. I said, let me go and check it. That was about 10 years ago. Two, three days later, I came back with my defense and I was like, this $100,000 he's complaining about was exactly the same day he got engaged to his girlfriend, then girlfriend, now wife. He bought a Range Rover for her, same day, same time. Paul did not buy a Range Rover for anybody. He said, Jude, put my own in my own account and I, I did that. 
Why are you calling EFCC on me to come and explain what Paul is doing with $100,000 in, in, in his account when you use your own to buy a Range Rover to engage your wife? Same day. The second one of uh, $150,000 was on the middle of January 2014. You told me you wanted to buy a Bentley. I gave you $200,000. Paul said, I'm not buying a Bentley. Put $150,000 in my account and send me $50,000 to go to America to catch fun with. And now you are asking me to come to EFC to come and explain why Paul has $150,000 in his car, an account and you don't have yours. Paul has $150,000 in, in his account, you had a Bentley. The thing was so annoying, so frustrating that I am now, in the, I am now the person that has to be explaining what your memorable, memorable uh, times, periods are supposed to be for you. Am I supposed to be the one to remind you of when you engaged your wife with a Range Rover? That was when Paul had his money. The data is very clear there. Am I supposed to be the one to tell, tell you that you bought a Bentley? You bought a Bentley, Paul did not buy a Bentley. That's why Paul had $150,000 in his account. Now, I am now heading in EFC to come and be explaining that. That I'm giving Paul that amount, then I'll go behind and share it with Paul. Now, all those accusations now when there was one again that he, hold, he held very dear. Very little amount, 25,007. That's why he got uh, uh, Jason Njoku involved or something. That there's when money got into our account, 25,700 and something thousand dollars, that me and Paul within four hours or whatever came and split the money in half. Yeah, it was true. I saw it and I was wondering why would 25,000 something get into our account and me and Paul would share the money into two immediately. Then I was like, okay, let me go and investigate. And I went back and I checked. And lo and behold, there's an email that Peter wrote to Iroko uh, telling them that they should split the money into three and send him his own because Pisco is having issues and he doesn't want the money to be put in our, in our general account. Jesse now wrote an email and saying, okay, gentlemen, after discussing individually with the three of you, this is how the money is going to be shared. Jude plus Paul, $25,750. Peter. $12,850. Peter's money was sent to him directly. Jude plus Paul's money was now sent to Northside Entertainment account, which he now saw in the account and picked it out and said, this is the evidence that Peter, Jude and Paul are sharing money behind his back. This thing happened in 2016. And EFCC is holding me, asking me, interrogating me on that to explain. What am I trying to say? Everything about this EFCC thing is just mind-boggling and crazy. Now let's go to the secret company. My people, the secret company is none other than Northside Music Entertainment. I signed Cynthia Morgan with Northside Music Entertainment. All Cynthia Morgan videos has Northside Inc. in it. How is it a secret company to Peter all of a sudden in 2024? No, I want to understand. How is Northside Music that has a CAC certificate registration since 2015? How is Northside Music that was registered, according to him, the address of the secret company was my wife's. That's how we got had to get my wife involved. It has to do with my wife's uh, people's or my wife's home address. Please. Look at the address here. You can see what the address says. It's 178 Lola Holloway, Omole. Both my address, both my signature and if his signature says the same thing. Can you see that? Look at it. So, why would it say Umokeke Ifoma Chidima, 178 Lola Holloway? Jude Okoye Chidoze, 178 Lola Oluwe. This is the same Squareville. That's the address of Squareville where the three of us, Peter, Paul and Jude, lives. Or oh, rather, we were living then. That was the address that was used to open the secret company. Peter has to look for a way to make whatever that has to do with my account look fraudulent. I don't understand. CAC, every company registered in CAC is in public domain. This thing has been registered for nine years. 
Sita Morgan was signed in um, October of 2013. Then I wasn't expecting to sign Sita Morgan. Like you people already know, the contract was prepared by Sita Morgan and her then manager, Joy. They came to my room suddenly begging, begging, just let us do, let us do this. So I did not have any company that I run with. I'm only running with Nostra Entertainment, which was P Square and me. I was like, okay, to make it a little formal, then I now use the letterhead of Nostra Entertainment to print the first page of that agreement. But whatever write up that is about the agreement is talking about Nostra Music Inc. This was 2013. We're talking about 11 years ago. What is so secret about? Northside Entertainment. Everybody in this entertainment circle knows about Northside Entertainment except Peter. He, found out, he, he all of a sudden was shocked that he discovered a secret company called Northside Entertainment, Northside Music. So now my wife got entangled in it because obviously you cannot open a corporate account. In Nigeria as a single entity in 2015 I don't know about now so I had to get her inside as my second director and that was how her name ended up in this document when I went to the EFCC we had to go and sit with the EFCC boss the three of us and the man asked Peter why do you bent are you bent on wanting to involve Jude's wife in this matter we have investigated for six months. There is no where, there is no how, there is no means that we have found any connection that has to do with her. They just used her name as a second director in the company, in re company registration. She's not in the banking. She doesn't have access to the account. She doesn't have any security. To, she's not security to the account. Why do you always want to have her involved? I've told you several times to leave her out of this. And Peter's answer was, uh, he has to get her involved because if the table was turned the other way around, we're going to involve his wife. That he should go and see what I was talking about his wife on social media. Please, I want to ask you people, I have one million naira to send to anybody that can go on Google and find any time I posted a tweet or Instagram or Facebook or whatever, any defamatory whatever on Peter's wife. Please, the first person to send that thing to me on my DM will win one million naira. I don't understand. Sometimes I, I, I keep saying it from that 2016 that Peter needs help. Peter needs prayer. It looks as if I'm making a jerk of him, but that is the fact. There is nothing I have not done to a point that I have left Peace Square for you for eight years. I am not managing you. I am not directing for you. I am not giving you any opinion. I am not. There is nothing. You are going your way. I'm going my way. I wish you guys well. When you guys came back in 20, 2021, you called me. There's a video out. Manager, manager, manager. I told you, oh, no, 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 no. Let's enjoy the euphoria for a day or two. We need to come together. And find out when this is over what happened four or five years ago. He said, Why do I need? I said, No, no, no. You cannot post a brand like P Square for four or five years. I just said, No, 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 not in the app. We don't come together. I said, No. If it's me that is faulty, tell me what I am doing wrong. If whoever that is, everybody should just come and vent and call. We, apart from P Square, that brotherhood should come together. You cannot just say, No, 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 it's okay. Let's. They said, Okay, okay, we agreed. After a week, I noticed that nobody was calling me to for the meeting. I decided to call for the meeting myself. I said, okay, let everybody come together. Can we have this meeting? First thing that Peter came out from me, that Peter brought it out from his mouth was, I beg, we know you know my beg. Me and Paul don't say, let bygone be bygone. That was his word. Me and Paul don't say, let bygone be bygone. I was like, oh, was it just Paul that was involved in this thing? Why can't we sit down? Even if it means bringing the wives too. Let all of us as family sit down and fashion this thing out. Something strange happened that made this brand to go in, in, uh, in communicado for five, six years. No, four and a half, five years. We need, it needs to be explained. If not, it's going to happen again. And Paul was like, no, 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 Jude, if you said let bygone, bygone, let's look for how to just... I let it go. I don't want to push it further because everybody was still enjoying the further of their back. I, I just let it go. Then, we started talking about how to 
uh, start the new managing uh, of P-Square, the new ideas and how to bring the brand back. I was trying to open an account that will have uh, the three of us alert a new account because the old one has been dormant for long. Only for my phone to ring, Peter called me. No, Paul called me. I said, where was I? I said, I'm in my parlor. I'm signing. He said, no, 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 leave that way. They try open. Just come for my house. I said, okay, what's the problem? He said, just come. I said, okay, give me two minutes. Let me finish filling this form. He said, you, that's the way they feel. If you don't need them, just they come. I was like, I don't understand. Can't you give me two minutes now? Peter now picked the phone and said, Jude, that's where they feel. No need. You know, be saying you know go find them. You no need them. Just they come. The thing is, the paper is still here with me. I just told, told the guy that, you know what? When I finish filling the form, I'll call it to come and collect it. It's, I have an urgent meeting to attend to. I went to Paul's house. Peter was seated. Paul was seated. I sat down. Then... Peter was like, they have done, uh, they have had a meeting yesterday and decided that they are not going to need me for the peace we are moving forward. I was like, why? He said, because that is, the, that is the, the condition he gave Paul if they are going to come back as peace square, that Jude is not going to get involved. And for you people that are saying that Jude, Paul is always hiding Jude, Paul is always hiding Jude, Paul sided with Peter and got me kicked out of Peace Square. This thing happened uh, early December 2021. Early December 20, I can't remember the date exactly. Does that one look like somebody that is siding with Jude? Does Paul look like somebody that is siding with Jude? But that's just by the way. So, I said, okay, no problem. Paul, you have done Root Boy for almost five years now. I gave you all the support. I gave you all the uh, assistance that you needed. I even edited all your videos, if not all, most of your videos, for free. Did you ever pay me? No. Have you ever played any show that you got as Root Boy and you paid me anything? He said no. I gave you all the assistance, he said, for that for five years. Even though nobody knew what I was doing for a living, he said, I said, okay, you know what? I'm going to extend the same gesture to Peace Girl right now. You guys can take your decisions. You don't want me to have anything to do with P-Square. Take your decisions on yourself. Run your things. But if you need any help, I'm always available. Let's do that that way. I left them. No hard feelings. P-Square or no P-Square, we still have to keep the brotherhood. And when I went to Abuja, a week later, at the pool side of the hotel that we were staying, we were like five of us that came from Lagos, then some few Gogolada people, Abuja people that they have known from school days and everything. There were like 14, 15 of them, including us. I was just sitting drinking with Paul and some other people then. Peter walked up to me and was like, he wants to seek my opinion for, on something. That What do I think? What do I go think if, if we go invite Medi for the show where they want to do by that December? Their only first show in December. What was my what is my opinion? I said, invite Medi. I said, no. Why do you want to invite Medi? He said, because people go feel him um, that the people don't appear square and Medi know they're in good time, but if they bring him as a surprise, he go wow the fans. I say, I say yes. I don't say go wow the fans, a normal thing. But has Medi reached out to you? Has he apologized? Has he made up with you after all the things he has said about you on social media? I was like, no. If say if Medi don't make up with him, I said okay. If Medi has made up with you, has he made up with Paul? Has he made up with me? Peter exploded. What's he concerned me? What what why does he give a fuck if Medi makes, makes up with me? All he does is do so proud. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Won't we'll Lagos. I go invite Medi. Come, make him come. I prioritize to you. Once I prioritize, that's all. Fuck fuck off. I don't we don't need you. I was like, what have I said now that is wrong? What have I said now that is packing this this rage? You asked me a question, an opinion, and I gave it. Why are you by getting banklashed now? As in, what is the meaning of this? I stood up, Shehu, post manager, and uh, 20 stopped me. I was like, Jude, no, no, no. I said, I'm not angry. I'm not angry. I just want to go and cool off. I can't stay here. He was high screaming that I should be grateful that it is because of him and Paul coming together, that I am here. 
I, I, I didn't understand what that statement meant. I, I should be grateful that because they came together as peace crew again, I now found myself in Abuja as in, I cannot come to Abuja. I've never been to Abuja. I don't understand what that statement meant. That was what I heard, last thing I heard when I was leaving and I left. I went to my room and slept. I woke up the next day, I told myself, even the assistant that I was trying to render or give to them for free, I think I should just withdraw it and just move my thing. I should not be interested in anything peace crew. And that was how it has been. Feel free to like, share, and comment your mind on top every of our stories. And most important, make you hit the subscribe button today for more to read.